Hello guys, this is Ashwich here with another tutorial and this is how to import walls in, um, from Minecraft into Cinema 4D and other softwares. So, the cool thing is they've made an update where you have water, that's cool, and I mean water that um, deforms to uh, depends on where it's positioned, or uh, whatever, and it imports torches, imports fence, stairs, and etc. Lines which is really cool and then I'll show you how to make it cool looking like better quality uh, and yeah tutorial time so download MindRays and the text pack I'm using is in the description and the guy who made the dojo is in the description so download MindRays, open it um, if you want to update you need to delete your old MindRays so go to your MindRays folder and click on uh, uninstall this thing mm. did I just click it? Yeah, I did just click it. Uh, yes, okay, it did not install. Good. Um, mm, okay, so now open your world. So open, find new world. So this is the world. Oh, go. I'll show you from the beginning. So go to your user. That's my user. And then go to the library, application support, Minecraft. Find your saves. Then go into the save, then go and open the level that, which I've already done over here. And then go into file, select our PNG, and I'm going to use this one. Um, it's pure BD craft, links in the description. Um, so click on that, so that's it. Then you select the area which you want to um, import. So, oh, lag. Stop. Stop. It is way too sensitive. Okay, um, now select the area. Uh, so, to know which area, um, oh yeah, you need to right click and drag to select the area. And then you can always right click and move this about. So, I'm gonna put it here to it imports the, basically the borders of it, which is here. Um, now, let's export it. Let me just quickly do something here. Delete that and then file export for render and I'm gonna save it in this folder and save and then you have the option of deleting floating objects such as vines and floating trees and stuff and then you can always in, uh, uh, export as individual objects but I warn you about this if it's a big area Cinema 40 will crash or something because there are too many polygons in one area so. Uh, you can always change the size depending on your character, but I'm gonna put it 100. Okay, and you can always rescale it in Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna let it import. Blue, the blue. Okay, and now I'm gonna delete this one, and then go find it. So there is these all of this. Get the OBJ, OBJ and put this to 1000, depending on what you've put it, so I put it at 100 millimeters. so I put it at 1000 so this suits my character, it's the same and select everything color and then RGB, set this to none, very important specular, oh no, off specular, alpha load in RGBA and then set this to none also so right now it looks kinda weird so what we have to do to fix that is go to editor default and since mine is 64 by 64 the texture pack I put this at 2000 but since of uh, because of lag reasons I'm gonna put it at 1000 um, so that oh, I'll forgot I need to let it load for just a sec in the textures you need to wait for everything to finish loading and then right click and du remove duplicated material and then that should be just two and select both of them and change it to that and now it should fix up everything like that and now um, select everything right click and connect plus delete if you want it to be one object like that or you can alt G and convert it into a group whatever and you have everything inside then what you can do is Go to the options, enhance OpenGL. What this does is it cleans up the texture. Um, 
without and with and then there's noises post effects shadows transparencies and everything is enhanced over gel another way of doing it is going to display and use enhanced open gel and it's basically the same thing yeah pretty cool um so that's about it make sure uh yeah um Thanks for watching and hope this helps you. Go download it, link's in the description and bye.